Welcome back everybody, Nate here, the Invasive Species Hunter. Previously, I taught you how to identify a common buck from. Now, I'm going to teach you how to manage it. This is a tricky devil to get out of your property or woodlot, but chill the apples, you can handle it. The best idea is to make up a management plan. This should be up for about, just should be up to about five years, as the seeds can remain in the soil for up until this time. Some people who've used fire to remove the buckhorn problem, however this is not always feasible. Pulling them out with a wrench tool works when their diameter is up to about 2 inches. If they get bigger, you may want to use a tractor to remove them. If you are a rancher, you can let your livestock graze on the woodlot and can help eliminate some of the seeds. This works the same way as mowing the buckthorn seedlings up. Girdling the shrubs or trees often does the trick using the proper girdling tool. Followed by the direct application of herbicide within 15 to 30 minutes so that resprouting does not occur. Now, I'm going to show you how to manage one of those trees. Come along. Now, my mate Nancy is back to help us manage this tree. Alright, so first of all, I'm just going to show you how to use a girdling tool on a buckthorn. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to use the leverage of this tool to make about a three inch band down to the sapwood, which is the white part of the tree. So we're just going to kind of scrape it along here until we get down to the, this tree is a bit too small, but you'll get the idea, until we get to the sapwood of the tree here, which is there. So we're just going to, you're going to keep going until you get a three inch band all the way around the tree. And that's going to cut off the nutrients from going up into the tree and also down into the roots. So, as Nancy said, this tree is a little too small for a girdler, but not too small for this weed wrench. Stand back, Nancy. This could get dangerous. Good luck. Whoa, hold on there, invasive species hunter. I'm Super Safety Sam. And I'm here to help you remove this buckthorn tree. But there's some things you have to do first. You have to get in the right attire, right safety attire, because safety is number one. First of all, footwear. Make sure you have nice closed-toed shoes. No sandals, no flip-flops. Nice boots to wear. The buckthorn, as you guys already talked about, has those real spikes on the end. And believe me, they can hurt. Wear some nice long pants to protect your legs. Good gloves in your hands. You also want to wear some nice long sleeve shirts to protect your arms. And for moving buckhorn, I would definitely suggest a pair of good safety glasses because your eyes are very important. Once you're done, all dressed up, you're butt ready to do this tree, to remove this tree. Can I help you? You certainly can, Super Safety Sam. Thank you. You're welcome. There you go, invasive species hunter. Your buckthorn is safely removed. Now we need to talk disposal. There's two ways to dispose your buckthorn. You can dispose on your own property through a burning process, but you must get a burn permit from your local municipality. And if you cannot do that, the safest way is to take to a local landfill site. That way the seeds will be contained. Composting is not an option because that can get the seeds a chance to reroute and redistribute it to nature. Thank you, Super Safety Sam. You're welcome, invasive species hunter. My work is done. Be safe. See you later. Hey, Nate. Hey, Nancy. What have you got there? Well, I have some annual seeds. Mm -hmm. After we pull an invasive species such as the common buckthorn, you want to plant a fast-growing annual seed so that no other invasives come back. Um, cover crops work like oats, which I have here. So we're just going to spread it across the hole just like this. That should be good. Thanks, Nancy. Take care. Well, everyone, I think you have a pretty good handle on how to manage the common buckthorn now. Until next time, you fellow greenies. Cheerio.